baseball fans, we're going into my very first offseason of all time. Unless you count the video I did on my other gaming channel. This is my first offseason with the Baltimore Orioles. Few things that are on the priority list is to Im improve the pitching, maybe get another bat in there, but improve the pitching is number one priority for us, man. We got one guy that retires and he was not playing for us anyway, okay? Anybody else in here that retires that is, um, you know, notable? Joe Smith retires? I don't know anything about Joe Smith. He retires. Kurt Suzuki finally calls it a career after 15 years of service time. Shout out to him. Sergio Romo also calls it a career after 14 years of service time. Are we going to see Adam Wainwright calls it a career? Okay. Miguel Cabrera staying in. Huh. Cole Hamels also retired. Miguel Cabrera said he running it back. Unless I overlooked it. Nope. He running it back. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right. All right. Nobody going into the Hall of Fame, which makes sense. That class had nothing. Exclusive free agent negotiations. Now I got to figure out with Trey Mancini. Ah, oh, brother. I think I have to let Trey Mancini walk in free agency. As you can see, if I offer him a five-year deal, he's still not really happy with it. There's some interest for sure, but it's not like completely there. And... He's 31 years old, coming off a really good season where he had 25 home runs for us. But I just, I don't think that it's going to be worth it at the end of the day to be paying him when he's 31, especially when I'm assuming that he's going to, oh, well, his overall is going up, actually. Ah, this is extremely tough. He just had a career year for us, man. He's only had six years of service time. He had a career year. He went from hitting 251 to 300. I guess the question is, if we, if we don't re-sign him, what is the alternative, right? I think that's the way you should be looking at it. What is the alternative? We can move Ryan Mountcastle over to the first base position completely instead of him just being a DH. I mean, he has such a good season, man. But I, I think you have to... You have to let go, don't you? You have to let go. It doesn't make sense financially for us to, to extend him. And I wish, I'm wishing him nothing but the best... I'm wishing it nothing but the best, but I think we got to let him go. I guess in real life, he signed a one-year extension. So should I try to replicate that? I don't think he'd be interested in that in here. It was one It was one year, 10 million. Oh, I say you want to go be interested, bro. It's over there. Over there. He was excited about a one-year extension. Do I just do that and, and, and push the push it down the line? I'm going to give him nine because it looks like he'll take nine. Trey Mancini come, coming back for nine. Jordan Lau, you can go. Cueto, I mean, we, we signed you at the beginning of the season to help get your value up. You pitched, you know, 173 innings for us, which is the most you've pitched since 2016, but you're not coming back. Chris Owens, I don't even recognize you. You ain't played for us, so you're not coming back. And then Robinson Chirinos, he's so old. We got good catching play. We're okay with that. And now Brandon Hyde, who I, I don't know. Do people like Brandon Hyde? I don't because he's got D attributes. And he's negative to everything. We're signing an A-plus coach for, or A coach, B coach for a lot of things. I got a clean house because this is the year that I believe that we can at least try to make a playoff push. I got to figure out what attribute we value the most, though. I don't want to bring in, like, Dave Roberts. That's too, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I low-key want to bring in somebody that doesn't exist. Does this guy exist? I want I want to build our own lore. The answer is no, he, he doesn't exist. So that, that's who's going to be our next coach. I got to figure out how to pronounce your name, though. Tapri. Tapri. Carlos Tapri. Now, he's given us plus three to clutch, plus two to power, minus one in hits per nine, but plus two to durability. I like that a lot. I don't know what a normal um, <laughs> salary looks like, but it looks like he's looking for five years or five million dollars a year for two to three years. And that's that's exactly what we got for him. But he said he's not, inter he not interested in us. What if I throw you a little bit more of a bag? An extra million on top of that. What about a little bit more of a bag? Uh, 17 for three for four. H how about how about we do 24 for four? He's interested in that. All right. Tripre, welcome to the team, hopefully. Let's go get... Matter of fact, let me just build this entire coaching staff and I'll introduce you to them when it's done. So select a 40-man roster. I, I don't know enough about this for me to do it. Oh, some of the guys that we drafted are here. Robbie Dobson. I forgot that we went through the draft, bro. So, um, these are the guys that we drafted. These are the top guys that we drafted. And, I mean, Robbie Dobson, he might, he might be eligible. If we look at, look at this, he's the second best left field in the, 
He's the second best outfielder and third best outfielder in the entire org right now. Third best. You know, he's not a top 100 prospect because he's only got B potential. But I, tr I trust, bro. I'm going to make sure he's a stud. I promise you I'm going to make sure he's a stud. Anyway, I don't know much about selecting a 40-man um, roster. So I'm going to go to arbitration. And I want to extend Cedric Mullins like, like no other. He wants a shorter deal. I will prefer to give you... You know what? I, I think I rock with your four-year deal, Seti. He wants to hit free agency when he's 32 years old. Um, I'm okay with that because I don't actually know. We no 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 no. We saw. We saw what he is going to be. Okay, he he just don't he doesn't want a five year deal at all. I mean, I'd have to throw him five years, and it's still going. It's still going. And our, our projected surplus is going down. Yeah, I I, I think I got to give him a four-year deal. I know what he is going to turn into. And hopefully, he just likes it here enough. And in that four years' time, we've won at least a World Series at that point. But, I mean, I'm saving a little bit of money if I give him four years, $52 million, uh, Because that five years is just going to be so much money. So, there we go. Austin Hayes. I don't want a lot of my people to go to arbitration, honestly. Austin Hayes also wants a shorter deal instead of a longer deal. Mount Castle, what are you thinking? Everybody wants like a four to five year deal because they, I mean, three to four year deal because they want to hit free agency again. Um, unless you're John Means who wants that full on 15 year deal or a one. Huh, very interesting. But now we hit free agency. And there is a lot of pitching here. The Aaron Nola at 29 is here. Wow. I did not know he was a free agent this season. He's a 91 overall. He's only got one offer and that is from his Phillies trying to bring him back. Clayton Kershaw was here, but he's 35 and he's regressing, and I'm, I'm not really interested in that. Um, I need to learn how to pronounce your name, but he's 33 years old at this point. Nathan, um, he had a 313 ERA last season at 33. We got Thor at age 30. Mike Clevenger, then he just went Cy Young last season. He's in free agency. He's only got a one-year $17 million contract offer from the Padres. Uh, Chris Bassett's old. Joe Musgrove's 30. Sean Manet is 31. Um, anybody, can we, huh, coming back from his timeout, he had a four ERA, he's 29 years old, should we be going, we should be looking for ace, right, forget everything else, we should be looking for ace, be even though I, I'm, mm, right-handed, last year again with a four ERA, <sighs> I got some decisions to make. Relief pitching, all these guys are going to be 30 plus because that's the way relief pitching is. Closers, I like Tyler Wells, our closer personally. You know, he made an all star game um, with him being our closer. So I'm not really interested in some of these other dudes, even though Edwin Diaz would be kind of nasty. Catching play, we're good. First base, we're good. Um, Cattell Marte is here. I know in real life he signed an extension. So you know what? I'll let him live, even though I would love to bring him to Baltimore. Third base pretty much has nobody. Odor, who we traded away at the deadline, he's out there. Um, Colton Wong is here, but he's 32 years old. Whit Merrifield, he's been there his entire career. He's got one off for them. I feel like he's going to stay there for his entire career. Shortstop, we got Trey Turner out there. But he, he's got a seven-year, $245 million contract from the Dodgers. The White Sox are trying to pull Tim Anderson back. Uh, Dansby Swanson's got a contract. Outfield play. This is a pretty solid, Aaron Judge has zero offers. He's got zero, zero offers, Aaron Judge. Um, Adam, Adam Duvall's got some offers, but he's kind of old at this point. Mitch Hanniger's kind of old at this point. How the heck do I play free agency, bro? Woo, this is about to get interesting. Okay, I would love the idea of bolstering up our middle infield play by bringing in Trey Turner or Cattell Marte. But they already got huge contracts on the table that it looks like they're, they're really interested in. The White Sox didn't give my boy the type of contract that he thinks he's worth. And, and hmm, me being me, wanting a little White Sox connect. Do I want to steal him away? Huh. We'd have him running, playing show. We can move Jorge Polanco over to second base, which is like his natural position anyway. And let 
and let Tim Anderson uh, be shortstop. And then Jorge Mateo can play like third potentially um, if we try to bring in. <sighs> focus pitching, focus pitching. Pitching is number one priority on our list right now. Aaron Nola is out here and it's interesting. If I offered him six years, 129, that's significantly more than what he's already been offered. And we might be able to steal Aaron Nola away from the Phillies. Um, this season he had a three ERA, but we know he's really, really good. 91 overall, he's the best pitcher on the market completely. And he'd slide in, of course, as our ace. And then we'd have John Means, Eric Lauer, and, and uh, Grayson Rodriguez here. And then the, our other pitching spot, I don't know. We, we'll figure it out. Maybe it's, um, maybe it is D.L. Hall or something like that. Or maybe we should sign a fifth relief pitcher. I forgot that in baseball, everybody like hits arbitration slash free agency. It seems like every single season. I forgot we got this guy. This guy's a stud, a potential. And we got him in like the last round, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is the only guy we have under contract. This is catcher prospect, not prospect. He's old. Um, we got some other prospects. I just want to see if we can get something. Can we? Get... There's Matt Barnes as a closer. Um, is there a world where we can get that third pitcher by not giving up anything? I don't think so. I mean, I I'm bugging here by even asking this. I'm guessing, but I mean, there's there's catching play. Do we sign Aaron Nola, man? Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, let me go back. I'll give him. Player option on that deal. And even though it's just, that's a lot more money than what they're offering. Hold on. Let me let me take it down a little bit. Because I it, as much as I want them, I still don't want to overpay if I don't have to. And it might be the detriment to this entire video, honestly. The contract I offered Aaron Nola is five years, 150. With a player option for a sixth year, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe the player option's on the fifth year. Um, that That's, the, that's the, the, the thing I offered him, all right? That's number one. Number two, so we got two lefties and, and a righty, and then hopefully we bring in Nola, who's also a righty. Um, so I, I guess I shouldn't be looking at that, just trying to find. I need somebody that's like a lower end starter that we can get, you know, for relatively cheap. Danny Duffy's old at this point, but maybe he's got something left in the tank. And what I'm looking at is a lot of these guys are um, more expensive, I guess is the word, than I want them to be. But all of them are better than DL Hall as an option right now. Um, who, again, I think at the beginning of next season, I'm trading D.O. Hall. Uh, I'm, I'm going to sign him to whatever contract it is to be to be signed, and then we move him to his next team. And hopefully his potential um, is enough for us to go out there and get something great. Ladies and gentlemen, we found our ace. Aaron Nola, five years, $150 million contract to come play for the Baltimore Orioles. He was just in Philly, so it's not that big of a difference geographically for him to be here in Baltimore. That's a W. He looks weird in the jersey, but it's a W. Trade offer from the Blue Jays, eh? They uh, they're give me Kikuchi, who's an All-Star a couple years ago. He um had a three six six, and they want two players that um are older, not great players within our organization. I say older in a sense of prospects at 25 years old. Kikuchi's making $12 million. I'm actually going to decline that because I don't want to bring on excess money if I don't have to. And it's not like he's that much better than a lot of the stuff that we already have. So there's that. Now, we have people under contract. Aaron Nola is now making $30 million for the next five years. He's going to age gracefully, though. Best believe it. It's insane some of the trades that you can potentially get off for, man. Um, there's the Kikuchi trade again. Some trades that you get. There's Kendall Graveman, which will help our bullpen a lot. Um, 18 year old prospect with a potential, a Jonathan scope. Like the trades are kind of wild when you look at it like this. This trade for Ryan Tempera would help our bullpen out. He's on a one year, $7 million contract. Um, and we're giving up that catching player and then, and then Toby Welk, um, who's not bad at all, actually. Oh, actually, do I want to keep him? Do I want to, do I want to keep him? Hmm. I actually don't really know. Uh, I think I think I've already made my mind up though. No, I didn't. I'm not doing that trade. I'm not doing that trade. I'm just trying to get more bullpen arms. That's all. I'm just trying to get more bullpen arms. Um, but seven million dollars, I don't know. Aaron Judge is like he's going to the Reds. I decided not to go super superstar. Joey Gallo does not have a deal that he likes just yet, and he hit 27 home runs this year, which is not a 
it's a lot, but it's not amazing compared to what you know what he has done in his career. Um, what's that? He's looking for a short-term deal. Actually, these other teams are trying to get him for seven, six years. He don't really want that. See, I turned on like offer contracts if you want to. They want to throw Wilson Contreras as a contract. Get that? No, we don't want. We don't need Wilson Contreras. We have Adley Rutschman. If anything, go get a backup catcher. Don't try to sign one of the best, the best catcher on the market right now. Ben Attendee is a guy that I'm going after. Chad Green is a guy I'm going after. He's older. He's 31 years old, but a one-year deal, which is basically the Ryan Tempera uh, contract that we just declined. And they trying to bring in Jonathan Villar, who I guess is an okay utility man to have in the organization. I'm okay with that, actually. A good utility man. Um, and then we already signed there. We signed Adley. We signed Tyler Wells to a contract. You know, all of the dudes here. I'm trying to figure out, do we spend more money? Again, this is my this is my very first offseason, so I don't know if I'm spending too much or not spending enough. Uh, so it's all very new to me. There's my guy, Timmy, though. My guy, Timmy's just sitting there. His contact and power versus lefties have gone down a little bit, but everything else has gone up. He's more disciplined at the plate. He's more clutch now. I don't know how his clutch is only a 68 when we saw some of the stuff he can do. Whatever, whatever. Um, the fielding is even better, which is one of the biggest things for him. But they still haven't given him a contract that he's very interested in. And y'all gonna make me push... Y'all gonna make me push for it. If I go one more simulation and they don't offer it, they ain't got him a contract. I don't know, bro. I might have to do what I gotta do. So let's go ahead. Continue to simulate here. Um, the Rule 5 draft, I don't know about that. So we got Jonathan Villar to come here. Um, and at 31, I mean, he's still getting better at some aspects of the game. I don't think he's going to be a guy that's going to play a ton for us. And I hope that they didn't put that in his contract thinking that he's about to be like a guy. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, he can play first base, second base, shortstop, third base, and center field. So he's one of those dudes that you plug and play when somebody's a little bit tired. Um, even though, he, you know, he got a little bit more buff. I'll say he got buffer this season than last year. Um, and where is our guy, Timmy? He's still sitting there. Ah. Pending spending is pretty high. Our projected surplus is pretty pretty even to our pending spending. What 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 if what if I just threw them something that's slightly above what he's getting offered right now? I can shed some salary other places, can I? Well, let me actually let me look that let me look at that. Hold on, make trades. Um, I want to shed some salary. There's nine million right there. Villars for three. I guess I can't really. There's not a lot to even really share here. Uh, this guy. Get, get, get him out of my organization. Get him out of my organization. He's making half a million dollars to do nothing. This guy's making $67,000. Um, so come, come on to the team, bro. I'm just I'm just trying to free up some cap for some money. Or some money from people. Like, come on, bro. 700000 700000 We trading you away for nobody. This guy's making 59000 <laughs> Easy, <laughs> easy deals. Okay, so now we freed up like a million dollars in cap. I don't know. I, I don't know if this spending is smart. Um, we offered them 464, which is about 11,000 more, 11 million more than what he was being offered by the mother teams. Aaron Judge went to the Reds, okay. And that's it. Th did he not sign? Or he, he signed elsewhere. Oh no, he's still there. Ben Attendee is still there. And Chad Green is still there. Th those will be three pick good pickups, if you ask me. Um, lefty, batter, because we have a bunch of switch hitters in our lineup, but no, like, real lefty lefties. And then Tim could just be, you know what I'm saying, him, Cedric Mullis hitting the two-hole, maybe the three-hole. I don't know how we'll figure out that lineup, but they're still out there. Uh, we simulate to part four. Tay Oscar Hernandez gets traded for, for Bobby Bradley. Okay. Trey Turner goes to the Marlins. Wow. Nine years, $300 million contract. Wilson Contreras goes to the Mariners on a 432. And that's it. Come on, bro. Tim is still there. Joey Gallo is still there. Oh, Joey Gallo, like he is going to Minnesota. He's going to Minnesota. Um, ben Attendee signed, so that's dope. And they want to get get Will Smith. Did I offer Will Smith this contract? Was that me? I don't even remember. I'm already I'm already losing losing my mind. No, I offered Chad Green a contract. He said no. Basically, we're not even in this top three, which is fine. So if we gonna go out there and get Will Smith, then I'm going to offer him just slightly more than the competition at three three. It's it, I mean he he likes Atlanta. I guess he wants to stay in Atlanta. 
they got a little bit of an advantage, even though they're they're offering less money. Trevor May looks like he's going back to uh, the Mets. I wouldn't mind having Trevor May on the team, but I wanted to sign him for something like this three three, and so we just gonna we gonna let that ride. Wow. Um, so yeah, yeah, a lot of spending, huh? Lot of spending. Rule five draft this year. Oh, wow, I cannot believe we just did what we just did. Um, they want us to draft this pitcher. I need to look up how Rule 5 works real quick. Clayton Kershaw went to Houston. Joey Gallo ended up going to the Twins. Edwin Diaz to the Tigers. Is that all the free agency? It It is. Yeah, that's all the free agency. Wow. And now we are at spring training. Absolutely crazy, crazy offseason. Um, signing players like Tim Anderson, um, Ben Attendee, and then Jonathan Villar in free agency, along with improving our, our pitching staff at least a little bit, bringing in Aaron Nola, scared me. Um, first of all, D.L. Hall didn't progress at all, by the way. So that, that whole depth chart thing doesn't seem to be completely accurate. Um... And that's a bit frightening, am, am I right? I think we have to we have to move, bro. Um, maybe not at this exact second, but he has to be moved because I thought this was Tyler Wells. I'm like he fell off, but no, that's Alex Wells. Because uh, yeah, I don't I don't if he didn't get better after that season, I don't know what to tell you. But I'm feeling good. Do I care about spring training? Is that something we care about? I think there are some contracts to be shed for sure um, because we're in the red, which is not great. But we got a, but it's not by a lot, obviously. But we got a lot of players here, who are making close to a M, because uh, we saw. I mean, we we have a lot of money wrapped up up top here, especially if you count the thirty million salary that is Aaron Nola. Um, you know what? I, I, do I care about spring training? What what is spring tra spring training even for? I mean, with this current lineup, they don't even have Trey Mancini in it. Um, against lefties, he's a DH. Um, but even then, like, that can be replaced by, you know, Jorge Mateo. Is Trey Mancini's become expendable at this point, which is fine. We only got him under contract for a season anyway. We throw him and D.L. Hall together in a trade. I mean, we probably are getting something extremely, extremely good. MLB ready. I'm just curious to see what's going on. Let me, let me see, let me see what they got here. Jordan Montgomery. Okay. I thought it would be better than this, honestly. Andrew Vaughn is there. That's very fun for me. Um, but I mean, there are some good pitchers here for sure. I thought maybe we was gonna get like a star star. But you know what, if I throw the, throw like, um, where's the one guy? Where's that one guy? Oh my God. Uh, Hunter Woods, throw Hunter Woods in there because he make about $2 million a year for nothing. He had like a 9,900 ERA this season. Alex Verdugo and Garrett, okay. This is not something we got to explore or make a trade for right now. Garrett Crochet would be dope. I got to see what his, his like overall um, stamina is, but not something we got to uh, think about right now. But we got, we're second in contact, 14th in power, sixth in speed. The pitching is better, but not significantly better. Uh, and overall team ranking is pretty good too. Uh, we, we have to pull off, I think, a big time trade uh, to help either our bullpen or that fifth starter, you know? And we'll figure that out next episode.